Valentine is coming. Hey, the month of love is here. And on today's episode, we are trying to understand the different perspectives of love across genders, men versus women. My guest, who I'm going to introduce in just a bit, is going to be giving us the men's perspective on love. My name is Sharon Kalunye. Welcome. Let's get into it. Kindly don't forget to subscribe. Welcome. Uh, I will let you introduce yourself because I don't want to sell you short. <laughs> well, uh, my name is uh, Camilo Vinky. Mm -hmm. I'm so many things. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, most of the time I define myself as a creator. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And we also met in school. Yeah. yeah. You were doing film. Uh -huh. I was in media. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes I like, sometimes I perform, sometimes I make films. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I act, sometimes I see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So I'm an artist. Yes. Uh, Jen. Okay. Sawa So uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. We've planned this. <laughs> We've planned this this episode uh -huh. for two years. Yes. Actually, exactly two years. But uh -huh. I'm glad it has finally, finally yes. happened. At actually, the right time. Yes, at the right time. Yes. And we were actually to shoot it yesterday, but. Today was the right time. Today was the right yes, time. Three years yes. later. Yes, yes. yes. I am Karim Thank you. So yes. today we are, we are talking about uh -huh. love. And I was just curious, is, is, is love different to uh, 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 or to men and women? Because there is how we understand it, but there is how men understand it. So maybe you will be talking about the men's perspective as I talk about probably women's perspective or maybe the assumptions we have of your perspective and vice versa. So number one is, uh, what does love mean to a man? Mm. <laughs> uh, what does love mean to a man? Mm. Well, uh, so many things. Mm -hmm. uh, one would say, a man would love to be respected. Mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, for a man, for a man, it has to do with uh, giving the man his space. You know, for most of us men, we don't love a space where if you get uh, the house in the evening, it's just noise, 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 noise. Like uh, when I get into the house, you are there now starting to tell me the stories of how those were happening in the court and all that. You mm -hmm. aren't even giving me my space to relax, mm -hmm. you know, have time to, to put down and then have time to put down. So that is one perspective. Mm -hmm. The other perspective is uh, probably outdoor. Mm -hmm. uh, for a man who would love, uh, his perspective of love is. Uh, for a man getting to that point of loving a woman, mm -hmm. now it's somehow like official. For a man who love to show his woman out there. Mm -hmm. So again, for, for a man's perspective is that of, when we are out there, are you giving the man the space and the room, the freedom to show out there, to show you out there. Different, different uh, scenarios and different perspectives in terms of showing out there. There are some of us who are artists, love to show uh, women out there mm -hmm. differently. Mm -hmm. There are men uh, who love uh, being, being served. Mm -hmm. Again, as much as they are going to introduce the women, women out there, mm -hmm. they would, uh, once they introduce you, you sit down and let them train. Really, really. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now that you've introduced that men want to, for those that want to like introduce their women in public, yeah. so what, what what does it mean when a man says, at me, I don't like, for example, he posted the other relationships, but no has come to me is like, uh, me, um, I like it private, I don't want people to see, what a turoga, and all that. Well, uh, different perspectives mm -hmm. and i think that's where personally i am mm -hmm. as a man when it comes to love mm -hmm. uh for me for me i would, I would post my woman even online mm -hmm. but not all uh, and I, when i go out with her i'll show her out there and i'll introduce her to my peers and all that mm -hmm. but not all the times so and not in every other space mm -hmm. and even online not every other and not every other time mm -hmm. uh again uh there are those kind of women 
to come into our spaces and they won't like to be posted every single day, every single weekend, you know, again. Uh, but the most important thing as I came to learn later in life, uh, love, love is to be shared, love is to be shown. So, uh, a woman who post a man every other time and every in every other space and she won't introduce her man in every other outdoor space. The same thing for a man. But if again now they come with that thing of me, I want mine private, whether it's it's a woman or a progena, we are dating and she's telling me I would love my private space. Or it's a man, the man is telling me, me I want my private space. And from the one it's private throughout. That's another. Because love, love, the one who introduced love uh, gave us love to, to share it and to show it and to feel it. And one of the one of way of showing it and expressing it is by using it like that. So even other people can learn mm -hmm. from it. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So those that are like I want to be private could be hiding something. Yes. Or they could be having other people. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but the most important thing there are those people introverts and other people who love who love them uh, they are all friends mm -hmm. personal private space mm -hmm. but once in a while mm -hmm. you can see once they go out there with the women they go out there with the men they're introducing them the same thing with men and they go out there they're introducing their women online once in a while they go once they go out for a hangout over the weekend they go with their friends like for a drive over the weekend they go for a hike they post their women that one is okay. But now this one who is private all throughout, mm. there could be something they're hiding mm. or there is a hidden agenda. Or now, now for this one, it should be secret. They're not posting you. Yes. They're not taking you out. Yes. You've not met anyone. Yes. Inakwanga to indoors all through. Ditch. So that's a red flag. A ditch. <laughs> okay. Nowadays we use ditch. Okay. Ditching and unditching. That one, that relationship, you're in that kind of a relationship. Mm. As a guy, Walk out. There's a lady, walk out. Okay. So what does a man need from a woman they are in love with? Uh, respect. Mm -hmm. Respect is one. Uh, to... You talked about peace. There yes. Uh, two peace. Mm -hmm. Three, I would say uh, a man would want his personal space. Mm -hmm. uh, not every other time a man will go out with me. And this is the other thing I came to learn in life. Sometimes I'll just go out and have time with my boys. The same thing where ladies go out and have time with their ladies. They say girls, girls yeah, time. time yeah. So I'll also use that one and say boys time. Mm. As men will go, those who drink, they will have their two, three bottles. Yeah. Uh, for us who are into football, we watch a few. I know it's Africa Cup population is going yeah, on. Africa. We'll go watch the two, three games, mm -hmm. and then uh, we discuss a few things. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one of it is you run from older men. Mm -hmm. uh, you run from older men, like how to handle your woman, how to organize finances and all that, how to raise your kids. There's those kind of talks. So not every other time, uh, a man, would go out with this woman. And, and the same thing with a woman. Not every other time. So that one mostly comes with with that assumptions. Like uh, every other time my man is going out uh, and he doesn't want to go out with me, mm. there is a hidden agenda. Yeah. But that's not, that's not true. But sometimes it happens. Yeah, it happens. Mm. So it's very important also, as a woman, uh, you have to be very woke to know what kind of a man are you having in your life and uh, try and know a few of his friends that most of the time he hangs around you. It will be easier now for you to teach assumptions. The same thing for that. Yes, let, let your guy know two, three, four ladies that uh, if you go out for on a weekend as, a, as girls, if uh, and you're on phone, mm. uh, there is a friend of you. I have her number. I can call her, okay. and I'm sure mm. if she's there, you're there. Mm. As long as that lady is there, I know you're in that place. But now you see the downside to that is mm. I might give the person I'm dating my <laughs> my friend's number. And yes, I'm overthrown. 
Uh, this is something I came to learn. Yeah. Uh, like I think between the last one and two years ago, mm -hmm. uh, some of these things mm -hmm. they don't ha they don't happen to friends. We, we we agree, we disagree. Mm -hmm. uh, these things they are not for the twenties, the twenty ones, the twenty two, mm -hmm. the twenty two, the twenty three. These are for Early people. 20. These are for people twenty eight, twenty nine, mm -hmm. who one they are dating for marriage, mm -hmm. like they are clear what they want. Mm -hmm. So by the time you are you have decided that this is the guy, this is the guy I want to move on with. Like this is the lady I want to move on with. Like mm -hmm. you that that you will, most of the time let's not lie to ourselves. It happens. Yeah. Uh, there are those who got married uh, married at twenties, twenty one. Mm -hmm. There are those who got married at twenty two, mm -hmm. like our parents. Mm -hmm. But right now, let's agree for most of us, because mm. we can't talk about our parents because we are not our parents. Yeah. We are us. Mm. Uh, and we had our 20s, our 21 and 22s, and we know what happened. Mm. Uh, what I've come to learn is some of these things, right now, they can't happen when you are 21, 22, because you are one, you are still struggling. Mm. Probably most of us are still in schools. So. And you've also not established a yes, somehow, friendship. You don't yes. know. The people that are your real friends, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and then at this point, even if you are having two, three ladies, or you are having three, four guys who most of your boxes, your ten boxes, they are taking four, five, six boxes, mm -hmm. you still are not sure that's what you have. You're still figuring it out about the three. Yeah. So, among the three, you pick one. The same thing for us guys, among the three, you pick one. So, most of that, most of the time, mm -hmm. uh. People are insecure in that whole thing of downfall, mm. but then this is because uh, your mind and the whole, the you whole, you are still developing. So it has to get to a point where you are mature and you are woke, mm. and you know most of this information. And now you are trying to filter. Well, what kind of information do I need to remain with, mm. and what do I need to filter out? And learning yes. and, and learning and learning and learning, and learning again. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so what makes a man fall deeply in love? Uh, probably I would say, for me, for me I would say it's the boxes. Oh. If uh, my 10 boxes, if I ready... Oh, so you, you guys also have a list? Personally I do. Okay. Uh, personally I do. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that is something I also came to learn. Mm. Let people not move it to be a good way. Yeah, as in, there is, there is, uh, there are principles, uh, like there are principles of how life is done. Even if, uh, if you look here, like in, even in the Bible, yeah. how God does the creation story. There's the one, there's the, there's the three. But then when it comes to relationship and us, and even how we are brought up by our parents and all that, people don't want to, people want to do things casual. And for me, some of that's a left track. Yeah. Uh, let's let's try and come up with a plan and a timetable and all that. I know it's a, everyone is entitled to their opinion. Yeah. But I uh, have your ten boxes. Have the would I really want to tick my ten boxes. Mm -hmm. uh, for a woman, a man would tick tick all her ten boxes. Mm -hmm. But if you meet the person you want to move with, has six seven boxes. Mm -hmm. Three you can go. You can load with them. When three. Three, you are just enough. The yeses are more than the no. The yes, you have, you have uh, in your ten boxes, mm. the lady is taking my six, seven boxes. Mm. The, the, the three of them mm. is a learning and unlearning and mm. seeing what kind of uh, one box we can work together. Mm. This one I need to ditch. Mm. This one I can tolerate. Mm -hmm. And this one, we can compromise. Okay. Yes. So we're in the month of love. Yes. It's Valentine. Mm -hmm. What does Valentine mean to men? Does it actually even mean anything? Uh, to us, it means everything. Uh, that question uh, to men, mm -hmm. it's relative and it's a big. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would answer it personally. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's getting time to celebrate that love with you. Yeah. Uh, for me. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a few gifts here and there. Mm -hmm. If it's not gift. Uh, if I'm not financially financially stable at that space, and in, in these times I, I am saying financially stable, mm. we could be having a job and all that, but at that specific day or weekend, mm. you don't have enough cash. That's what I mean with financial stability yeah. here. Yes. So, 
probably you are not in a position to go out mm. but you can you can you can get a few gifts here and there mm. you can also decide like uh to get a cake to celebrate together uh, and uh again you can uh, if you are in a position to go out you people can go out on a weekend you go to like uh, national parks enjoy enjoy nature mm. yes Okay. That's, that's to me. I don't know about other men. That's nice because yeah. I've, I've talked to some different people yeah. in the past and they're like, ah, it's just a day like any other. We don't need one specific day to celebrate love. Uh, I don't, personally, I don't need Valentine to celebrate you. Mm -hmm. I can celebrate you. But we, like, we as ladies, we would like for you to just take that time and just appreciate it. It's one day, yes? We love yes. each other all other days. But, but again, uh, they are the, for men, mm. for most men, it should be like it's just another day. Mm. And then there are a few men, you could uh, find like uh, for us who are artists, like uh, that specific time, uh, probably I'm out of the country. Mm. Uh, so I might send you some cash. Yeah. I tell you, treat yourself. Mm. Uh, again, if I'm allowed, I may also decide to go out with you. And there are those, again, there are those like I, who, who for me, for me, as much as Valentine is a specific day for love, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to mean I have to wait a whole year until next yeah. year Valentine for me to celebrate. Yes. If I I do a few days and I get some few cash and I feel I need to celebrate you for a week and I need to take you out and treat you, mm -hmm. I just said you dress up nicely, you sit on the tent. Okay, yes. hey, that's nice. Okay. What do you think about um, girl girlfriends? Uh, your girlfriend having a group of friends going out and all that, what's the men's perspective on that? I would answer that question, I would, uh, I would have answered that question mm -hmm. differently mm -hmm. if I was still uh, in my 20s and 21 and 22s, mm -hmm. uh, but now, right now I'm past 25, so mm -hmm. my view and my thinking mm -hmm. is totally different from the thinking of back then. Yeah. So right now, mm -hmm. I would say one, friendship is very important. Uh, so, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. uh, let you already have a few friends, mm -hmm. uh, girl, girls, because yeah. she's a woman. There's some things about, there's some, I usually say there are some things about women I can't understand because I'm not a woman. Mm -hmm. The same thing with you, there are some things about men mm -hmm. you can't understand because you are not a man. Mm -hmm. So let her have her three, four ladies. Mm -hmm. Again, for a man, let the man have. Again, it's, 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 it's I would say, I don't want to say the part is typical, but again, it would feel weird. Mm -hmm. As a man, mm -hmm. I have a few friends of mine I go out to drink with, I go out to football with. Uh, I go on uh, chasing cars and everything on the road with them. Mm -hmm. But then, I'm serving my woman in the house. Mm -hmm. Or I'm telling her you can't have friends. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let her have her three, four friends, the same thing. I, as a man, uh -huh. have my three, four mm -hmm. men. But then, the, uh, but then let them be people who are helping you. Okay. And a man, again, mm. uh, is this man of viewers mm. allowing the new Louis friends, the four friends? Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. uh, for me as a guy, are you, as my woman, are you allowing me to know these four friends of yours? Okay, it's actually a tit for that thing. Yes. Okay. So, for me, for me, where I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I'm keeping my eye right now, mm. uh, is if she can't, uh, she has these three, four ladies who are in her space. Uh, one, if I don't know them, and she's telling me she's coming from a girl, a girl's hangout, and she can, she doesn't want to share that with me for this event. Where I'm looking at right now. Yes. Okay. Um. So, what if her friends are male? Again. Uh, my perspective right now, where I'm looking at maturity and wokeness. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. If though if it's not based on those thing, things for me, I'm out. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, it's a red flag. It's a red flag. Mm -hmm. And for me, a red flag is working out. Okay. Also, uh, for the women's perspective on their men having female friends mm -hmm. depends with the person. I do you sometimes make her feel insecure? If, if yes. there's a reason, then yes. she she'll be insecure about yes. it, and she will cancel that but if, if uh, you are open and uh, you have a what should I call it 
like a, like you're free with them and they know like she even knows the friend sometimes it, it's about the open thing so but then again again the most important thing uh is a uh, who are these friends and why are they in your space mm. that's another very important thing people need to uh, that's another question people need to uh, don't just invite any other person in your life because mm. those people they either come to your life to charge you or drain you so you might bring uh you might introduce and that is something again that is there at the moment you bring your 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 friend and your girl will go with your lady with your, with your lady with your friend again uh you introduce a man your man to a few ladies who are your friends so if if that is that's a red flag that's one is a red flag and again as a lady if these are your friends then these are the, these friends you need to call them out you need yeah, to help them yeah, you need yeah. to help them again for a guy if these men i'm bringing into my woman's space because uh, i don't expect them uh somehow the one is maneza kwa mnajuana maybe you are in campus together and then yeah ila mnapatananga you be like oh you know this one yes no no but then there are some spaces you be like i know this person from a certain space you be peculiar that's another red flag yes you know yeah. there are some spaces there are some spaces they are just off you know so i'll be like uh if the three men I'm introducing it my, into my woman's life uh one one among the three uh male friends for me one for me is older men who are older than me and uh probably people who are have over, over five years in marriage and their marriages are working you know, it's not just any other marriage where there are issues blah 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 there are issues and you have proofs that their marriage legs is working yeah. and it nice that's actually very profound so uh the next question we wonder is uh what's your take uh no you know today you're the main sp spoke uh -huh. spokesperson uh -huh. <laughs> what's your take on uh your partner being friends with their ex uh, there are some things you have to teach once when you get into a relationship and again uh not just relationship if we, uh, if there's a relationship for me there's a relationship there's a friendship mm -hmm. now once it switches from a uh, friendship to a relationship mm -hmm. there's some things have to go uh, peaceful just to uh, just to let things whatever has to drive drive mm -hmm. for and then you give space to what has to drive About drive is, yeah? and yes if you may call it that way mm -hmm. you give space to what has to drive to drive mm -hmm. and you give space to what has to die to die yes. Okay. There's a reason why they you ex. Mm. And now eh mm. uh, it's no longer a friendship with this guy or this guy. It's a relationship. Mm. And for me for me personally a relationship for me uh for me how I look it is something that is big some for me a relationship. Yeah. Otherwise for me it's a it friendship. It has to be intentional. Yes. Yeah. For me otherwise mm. I would call it a relationship. I'm mm. call it a friendship. I'm just in a friendship with a friend. Mm. Yes. Okay there are a lot of things you are you are agreeing with my perspective uh -huh. and my perspective on uh, your partner being friends with the ex mm -hmm. is there should not be a relationship there uh -huh. why are you friends with your ex uh -huh. this thing died yes. and it will it will just bring a lot of uh, doubt in this other relationship so it yes. keep uh, entertaining that's why i've said uh, just let it go yeah. so that was us to die to die and order us to break to break yeah. and again with those two things mm. now it should be easier yeah. it should, those two things this going this going south this going north mm. at least now you'll be left at the center mm. to co-create with your man or create with your woman yes. Yes, on whatever you people you want to to create together yes wow that's nice but then if your ex is still there mm -hmm. they will drain you wow for our next has to be it's, it's raining there's mm -hmm. no judging mm. yes. okay um for a man is cheating a deal breaker yeah it's a red flag for me for me cheating i'm looking it from a perspective of uh, i'm comfortable cheating but i'm not comfortable with my woman <laughs> okay so it's double standard no, no, no. yeah so for me for me for me where i'm looking things at where i'm right now mm. is a uh, 
for me, most of the things in my spaces, if they are not charging me, mm. let me personally uh, have just to accept, let them go. Mm. Let them go. So if cheating is causing me issues with my woman, mm. you say that I choose my woman or I choose cheating. Mm. Yes. Actually, women have, have different opinions on thieves. There are those that will, will be, it's not a deal breaker because they've accepted their men are wired like that yep, statement, yep. Yes. which I do not agree with. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, cheating is a deal breaker. Uh-huh. I've never been cheated on, so I don't know how I would react. But I, I, for now, I know it's a deal breaker. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, but then uh, nowadays, uh, nowadays I'm also looking from a perspective of, uh, and this has been an issue for the longest time possible, mm-hmm. as much as people don't want to talk about these issue. yeah. issues. They are always uh, sweeping the dirt in the house mm-hmm. and keeping it at the back of the door. Yeah. So mm-hmm. what is the root cause mm-hmm. of the house having that? What is the root cause of this relationship now I have, uh, get into a point of where people have to cheat. You know, mm. if, if you people are mature, call your woman, call your man, mm. sit down. Mm. If it's an issue you can sort, mm. you people sort it out. Mm. If you can't, mm-hmm. you people part ways. Okay, so uh, let me ask the cheating one in another different perspective. You, you've cheated, yes. your woman has found out. Mm. Would you understand if they are not like willing to take you back? Who has cheated? You, you have cheated, cheated and then you've been found. Uh-huh. Yeah, you've been caught. Uh-huh. <laughs> would you understand? Like, what, what, what would you react to that? Your partner is not ready to take you back. I would also not take a back a woman who has cheated. No, no. So no, I've given you my answer. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you would understand. Uh, I, I would let, I would let the relationship die. Okay. Yeah, and tap into another relationship, mm-hmm. and she also taps into another relationship. Okay. Yes. So the next one is mm-hmm. on uh, most men don't call out their women, mm-hmm. like they are afraid of hurting their feelings. Mm-hmm. In that, like mm, something like <laughs> your girlfriend talks too much, so you and it's annoying to you the way you say you want when you're from work, you're coming back home, you just want peace. Like most men are not willing to call out and be like, ah, don't talk to me, uh, you're talking too much, things like that. What's your take on that? Th- that, that is what we perceive of it as women. Uh, talk, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, hey, I'll call you out. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I will. That's why for me, for me, a relationship, mm. for me, I prefer building it from a friendship perspective. So that when uh, I see froze, uh, some things in my woman that I, I can't tolerate, I tell her. And again, for her, if she, I would also love for her mm. to call out on me if she sees a few things. Mm. Hey, work on this, work on this. Like a uh, man, man, just get into the house and throw a in the fire. But mm. if my woman is not comfortable with that, me, me personally, I'm okay. Mm. Her telling me now, just do this. Mm. Once you get into the house, mm. take your socks, put them yeah. in there. In the da in the in the dirty gold mm. space. Mm. That's okay. Okay. Yes. If 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 calling out to make our relationship work, mm. why not? Okay. Yes. So what Cause, cause, cause I, I'm curious, why get into a relationship mm. if you don't have intentions mm. and you don't have an goal of the relationship? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. You rather you people remain friends. Mm. Yes. Or not. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm, I'm understanding mm-hmm. is, it seems like actually there are no different perspectives of love mm-hmm. across genders. It's it's now it seems to be like a personal. It, it's a person. It's an individual thing. Someone would think this and another thing. It doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman. Yes, That's what yes, I'm yes. Because I actually thought that uh, there are different perspectives from women to men, but now I'm. I can see it's it's actually an individual thing. (laughs) So the next one is, I think men don't like surprises. Different men, different. uh, So it's also an individual thing. Because there there are there are surprises we've seen online that went. Nowadays I'm I'm like uh, I've been seeing some men say, ah, me don't give me boxers and vests and belts. Uh, again, 
But when it comes to gifts, mm. you know, I still go back to the issue of friendship and relationship. Mm. By the time you are getting to, as in why are you surprising me as a woman? Why am I surprising you as a man? Uh, as your man, sorry. Maybe it's our anniversary. Exactly. It's your so that means mm. I'm not just gifting you anything. Mm. I can give you anything. I can give you even a pen. Mm. But why mm. gift you a pen that is branded with your name? Mm. The thoughtfulness. Yes. Okay. Or what, when, when you can gift me, yeah, I'm into mm. football. Yes, I love yeah. football. Mm. Uh, but there's a, there's a, like, for example, if you give me a South Africa football jersey or a lot, uh, you see, mm-hmm. yeah, for example, I'm in rugby. Mm-hmm. So if you give me uh, a basketball jersey, mm-hmm. I may not appreciate it more. If, if it could have been a rugby one. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Then, when it comes to football, I have a specific club. Mm-hmm. So don't just Which give me. one? <laughs> <laughs> don't just give me any an, an, an specific oh, jazz now. Okay. So, mm. by the time you're gifting your man or your woman, mm. you know a few things yes. about your woman. Yeah. You know a few things about your woman. Mm. Okay. I think that's why now mm-hmm. the noise with us men at the moment. Mm-hmm. Don't just give me this because you can gift any other man a bet. Mm. You don't, you, I don't have to be your boyfriend mm. for you to give me a bet. I don't have to be your boyfriend for you to give me a wallet. Mm. Okay. And again, mm-hmm. uh, you don't need to be a woman mm-hmm. for me to give to you a pass. Mm-hmm. Or earrings or mm-hmm. a necklace. Mm-hmm. Yes. But think it will make my best how long. You have not gifted me anything. But now, yes, that is one. But now look at it from that perspective. Uh, Good that now you have raised that. Mm-hmm. Now it's easier for me. Mm-hmm. I can give you an earring on your birthday. Mm-hmm. I can give you a necklace. Mm-hmm. Okay. You see? Okay. But yeah. now. Mm-hmm. I can give you a pen as my friend because mm. I know you right, I know that. Yeah. But now, there's also the, uh, there's also someone who will maybe will see this video and argue. Mm. But as a friend, mm. I can also mm. give a, a phone, a, no, a pen that is branded with your name. Mm. But uh, for me, that extra initiative, mm. as much as you are friends, what kind of friend are you? Mm. The same thing with the relationship one day, yeah. mostly this question is do that is you just ask your man mm-hmm. what are <laughs> It's because of you talked about this actually yes. earlier yes. when you were saying about how people are not serious. Like people take a relationship stuff casual. Yes, yes. very like casual. Things to meet, very casual. Meet to be very serious. I actually decided I'm never going to ask anyone what are we because you need to have drawn your intentions. From if, if we, we are starting like the courtship, you're going for dates and all that, yes. someone needs to tell you. And if you see they're not telling you, me what I do is I just ghost you. <laughs> no, actually people, mm. that is something I came to learn. Mm. Like people nowadays take things casually. And for mm. the longest time people have been taking, especially we millennials. Yeah. And now these other generation that is coming after us. Gen Z. Gen Z. You know my Gen Z actually, I learned that last year. Yes. You are Gen Z? <laughs> yeah, How? Uh, but it explains why I have some characters of millennials and okay. because it's, it's like Mrs. Indotulianza. So we are we are still millennialish, but Gen Z. Yeah, I think uh, I think Nikuwa po katika katika si a Gen Z na millennial. Yeah. But I'm more of a millennial. Okay. Me too. So uh, I didn't know actually I was a Gen Z. So now mm. with millenn- uh, millennials and Gen Z, mm. they are taking things very casual, and that's why now. If you decide now to go after it, mm. at some point, it's around. True. Because mm. for, me, for me, if you're building a house, mm. make sure you work on the foundation. Mm. Otherwise, if you don't work on the foundation... Mm. Uh, Actually, back on the what are we question, it, it, yes. also, it always ends up with <laughs> breakups or uh, yes. sadness. Because this person maybe was not ready and never outlined. If you're not ready, accept mm-hmm. you're not ready. I actually discovered there's a friend of mine who was dating someone for then it was like three years in and they never talked about dating. They just started calling each other babe. I found that ridiculous. It's something that is happening currently with <laughs> Yeah, people. it happened. Yes. But me I, I want I want you to take the initiative. Actually ask me officially, will you be my girlfriend? Mm-hmm. Because I'm not I'm not going to assume things. With yeah. with my overthinking I would also love going up to her yeah. perspective. Yeah. So that uh 
maybe there are some few people in the comment will be like, ah, these people mm. are overthinking, mm. but that's really how you are. You're I'm, taking I'm, me for a date. What I'm, do I'm you an overthinker. Yeah, you know, I will, I will, I'm an overthinker as a as winky. Mm. I will just take you out. Mm. I will just take any other woman out for mm. a date. So why this specific woman? Yeah. You know? mm. Yes. Okay. Otherwise, if uh, I can I can go date on myself. <laughs> Yes, I can so. take I can take my mother on dates mm. or my dad or my mm. siblings, yes. Mm. But why this specific woman? What's the men's perspective on weddings? What is it about weddings? <laughs> <laughs> Again, different men, different perspectives. Mm. Yes. I can't talk about other men. What's your perspective on weddings? Uh one I would do a wedding if uh I don't have used to be mm. a lady. Mm. Uh, two, I'm not the kind of person who will create a WhatsApp group for you people to find for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm not that. Uh, Vink is not. I have a friend. Uh, I have a friend. Mm -hmm. uh, we did his wedding. Uh, I think he's, le he's less than 50,000. Wow. Yes. So that, that, wow. At the wedding, we, we, we ate mandazis and samosas and chai and sodas. And uh, the, uh, the marriage uh, the other day was got to they were celebrating five years, so they uh, they are Catholics. Mm. Uh, they went to the church mm. so that the father can also pray for them. So there were no witnesses, just the two couples. Yes, and now they and you guys. Yes, mm. they are friends. Mm. Uh, and and uh, I went for the five year celebration, mm. and the marriage is working. The marriage is thriving. He's uh, and the guy is one of my best friends in the spaces. I'm not talking about something like that. Yes, and even the, the day they were the day they were wedding, I was there. Mm. I'm telling you, we ate madazis. Mm. Uh, we we did tea. And it was actually fun. yes. And actually, after that, and that that again was thoughtful. Mm. Uh, the MC who also happens to be in our space. Mm. Uh, gave us each a stick note mm. and told us. Uh, in terms of wishes, wish, wish, wish this stuff is something beautiful. Write it down. Oh. And then we went did it in a certain box. The other box was now the envelopes, the mm. gifts. Yeah. The envelopes. If you have a big uh, gift, mm. like a phone, everything, grasses, mm. those gifts you do in weddings, mm. you can give them. Oh, yes, and yeah. it was it simplicity. And then now there's this concept we have tried to play mm. of uh, packs. As much as I'm into church, me, I'm a, a church person. Uh, either way, I will still do a church wedding. Mm. But one, I'm not over, over budgeting. Mm. I'm not uh, over hyping it. Mm. For me, it's a simple thing. We go to church, I taste the vows, they are get prayed for. Afternoon, we go for an after party and it's done. Mm. Yes. Okay, so it's. If we have to do honeymoon, we do honeymoon. If we don't have to do it, fight. And it's okay. done. For Any me. Girl. A girl, girl like me has always dreamt of a big gowns and, and gowns gown. and walking down the ice. We're very big guys, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Yes. So, yeah. From here to you all the way down there. Yeah, so most women, there are those that don't actually love wedding, but most women would want. Because actually, there's a time I saw Benjamin Zulu telling women, yeah. marry socially and uh, was socially and. Uh, which was the other one? Like, like they are witnesses. Yes, yes, yes. Just let this man say that this is my person. And actually, I'm, I'm thinking uh, the fact that you're doing it uh, in a public space with people. Uh, one, like I started by saying, the person who defined love. His idea of love, we need, people need to understand what was his idea of love and again him gifting us that love. Mm. And one of it, uh, as I came to learn, is uh, love is meant to be shared and to be celebrated and to be lived. Mm. And these, are, these three things is what we should do with love. So as you marry, as you get married, let it be uh, open. Let people witness. So that one, it's a lesson to other people and again, Somehow, again, it also comes with accountability. I'm also looking at it from a perspective of accountability. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, people, the people they bring as the best man as the, and uh, the lady mm. is usually a couple that is older and it's 
it has been in marriage for a while. Mm. So one, for the two, for the two people to teach you how to figure it in your early days of marriage. Mm. You know, in all aspects. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. kids bringing, marriage, mm -hmm. ma matter sex, mm -hmm. all that, all that, shenanigan. Mm -hmm. So, also the point of accountability. Like, there's a certain community that has been there. I, as a guy, there's this community of men mm. that are coming to my wedding. Mm. Uh, there's this community of yours as a lady. Now, one, they will keep your accountability mm. by the fact that you have declared the vows. Yeah. So they know you two are knighted. Mm. So, if uh, there's a, they have suspicions, mm. they have the right to ask you for yeah. yes. yeah. Especially those people who are older, like your parents, mm. your parents' brothers, mm. your parents' sisters. Mm. Yes. Okay, so you. It also comes the, to the point of accountability. You break, you break the idea of like having an older couple as your best couple. Yes. What about mm -hmm. like your best friend and say, your wife's best friend? People like they are not couples; they are just your best friend. Mm. Well, they need to also be older. One, well, let them be older, mm. and if if possible, mm. uh later uh, when you people are dating and uh, you are right now we have decided please let let the guy introduce you to this couple that he loves or, and, or maybe the lady introduces and you people sit down talk if you agree this is the this is the if you agree this is the couple for me for me let them be older and let them be okay. because again uh, as a man i brought my best friend you have your brought your best lady I know for me, for me, it more matters are couple. Okay. Yes, let them be a couple. You know, uh, sometimes mm. Ladom mm. they'll just visit your house and ask you, guys, how are you? Mm. Yes. Check you again, you on this weekend, mm. after work, we decide to okay. you know, uh, call each other. Let's meet, let's meet over the weekend uh, at a certain place for you share a ranch mm. and you share lessons. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's nice. Mm. So the last one is uh, a man's perspective on. Gender equality and uh, gender roles and all that. Uh, some things have to change once you people have to get to that uh, that space. Mm. We agree, we don't agree, we make noise out here. Mm. We don't make noise, that will always be a truth. People don't want to talk about it, but that's the truth. Mm. Yes. Okay, so will you cook for your family? Uh, personally, personally, that's not an issue for me. I love cooking. As much as I won't cook every other time, mm. what I what I, I mean is mm. uh, your woman won't be pregnant with your kids mm. your at family. seven months, yeah. she's almost due, mm. and you're expecting her to do things like, like cooking. Mm. And it's a, a cooking that will cost you five minutes. Yeah. And you got in uh, school there. Mm. Things won't even take over like over ten minutes. Mm. Yes, and you are done. Okay. Plus, uh, the other thing is uh, most of these things, mm. uh, people are doing them when they are single. So how yeah. comes now? Mikono uh, yako in Yeah. That's that. Uh, once you get to that room for the marriage to, uh, as much as I'm not married, but mm. I have people, a few people I look up to, and those people, those couples are like. One is my parents, mm. uh, my biological parents. I look at their marriage. Mm. And, uh, you want something? Like I want something like that. Mm. My my dad cooks sometimes in the house. Yeah, because because uh, you won't you won't uh, you won't just yeah, wait for the woman. And I India sasa kaza usi kusa sasa utakula sasa sasa kati India. Na kuna wuga apo kuna zukume ata sio na kataka dunendi ya kwani ni kama na boga. Just a simple thing, a five minute thing and you are done. It makes the relationship thrive. It makes the marriage thrive. Yes. So the the whole thing is people people don't want to talk about it. But me personally, I'm at a space where. I'm encouraging people. Let's let's be part of this talk. Mm. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. This was really interesting. I've learned things here. Yeah. I hope you. Yeah. <laughs> I've also learned a few things. Okay. Yeah. So, so, though I've not talked much about the, our women's perspective, mm. but uh, it was a great uh, conversation. Guys, leave a comment, subscribe, and let's meet on the next one. Bye.